I'm going to go straight out to baby Elena's father. Everyone, tip line, 1-800-CALL-FBI. There's a $10,000 reward. Terry, Terry Steinfurth, Jr., out to you. You go over to pick up your baby. She is 18 months old. She has trouble walking. She has trouble talking. I've learned that since the last time we covered the story because of issues with the mommy's womb. So when you get to the house, what happens? I arrived to pick up both of my daughters. Um, I asked Angela to go in the house and get them. She sent my oldest daughter, Kylie, out to the car. Um, I was strapping her in the car seat. I turn around. She's Kylie sitting back four, down on the correct? porch with her boyfriend. Kylie is four, right? Yes. Okay. You strap her in. You buckle it up. Yes. You turn around, and what do you see? She's just sitting back on the porch. Okay. Then what? Just sitting there smoking a cigarette. I asked her to go in the house and get the baby. She told me she was she had just laid her down for a nap and she wasn't waking her up. Okay, laid her down for a nap. Okay, that's the first I've heard that. Go ahead. Uh, I asked her again. I said, go get Elena for me. She refused. Um, her boyfriend decided for some reason he wanted to basically start yelling and screaming like he wanted to fight, ripped his shirt off. So at that point, whoa, I got whoa, back whoa, in my vehicle Wait a and minute, wait a minute. Rips his shirt off? Fight over what? Yes. I, not the slightest of a clue. <laughs> okay, all right. Just what happened then? Because we're going to hear the other side of this story, too. What happened then, Terry? <clears throat> so I left. Um, I went to my father's house. I dropped... Kylie, my four-year-old, and my girlfriend's daughter off with my dad's uh, wife. And then me, my dad, and my girlfriend went back over to the house to try to get Elena. Okay, what happened when you got there? Um, my dad got out of the car. I stayed in my vehicle. Um, as my dad approached the porch, Stephen then tried to fight my dad. And back to you, Terry Steinfurth Sr., you've been with us before, and at that point, from what you told me, you go up on the porch. At that moment, what did the mom tell you then, or, or the boyfriend, either one? Uh, the boyfriend told me he would fight with me like he wants to do my son, and I just told him I wasn't there to fight with him. I wanted to see my granddaughter. And all I wanted to see was my son's wife. And his mother sent him back into the house and told him that we were talking as adults. It had nothing to do with him. So did you see the mother? Uh, after I sat on the porch and talked with the mother and father for a while, they finally convinced her to come out onto the porch and talk to me which at which time we had our confrontation of argument and she still refused to bring the baby out. Why did she, t and what did she tell she you about why she wouldn't bring the baby? She said that if she gave me the baby to take with me that my son wouldn't, she wouldn't see it again because my son wouldn't bring her back. Okay. And, and so I then said, well, I understand around your, two or three o'clock finally she goes in to get the baby and she comes out and says what uh, she came back outside and told me that the baby wasn't in the house the baby was gone Someone and this took is the a baby. very critical question at that moment where was the boyfriend the boyfriend was still in the house are you sure As far as I know, he was. Did you see him again? I did not see him again until after the police were there. Okay. And my son had tracked him down, and he came back to the house. 
So he left the home during all of this. He leaves the home, right? Correct. So he leaves the home and the baby vanishes at the same time.